All right, here's some things you should know about the T2 chip. And I'm gonna show you what you need to do is restart. And once the touch bar goes off, you'll know when to do it. Just hold down Command and R at the same time. And now your computer will boot up into safe mode. Once you're in, you wanna go inside utilities and start up security utility. Now this is new and this is due to T2 chip. Now you're gonna be presented with the startup security utility and it gives you a couple of options. Now by default, you probably don't wanna be changing any of these options, but for me personally, what happened is it, and it only happened once so far, my computer just shut down out of the blue and next time I turned it on, it actually required me to go online and uh, to do an online verification to make sure that my operating system was correct. And I found this a bit bizarre because um, it's, it's probably good and it's probably for the best, but there's gonna be some cases where I'm not gonna have an internet connection and I'm gonna wanna access the operating system. So there's some options here. So there's full, and that ensures that your current OS or signed operating system is trusted by Apple. So this mode requires a network connection. So every single time Apple thinks that your computer's a bit dodgy, it won't let you use it until it connects online every single time you start it up. So I'm gonna, there's another one called medium security and this will allow your operating system as long as it's been signed by Apple or, or a Microsoft. No security means you can install any sort of operating system, like any weird distribution of Linux, that kind of stuff. And external boot, now this one's very interesting. This one by default doesn't allow you to boot from an external media. So if your computer is in a bad state and just say you got another version of Mac OS on a USB drive, or you wanna run Windows in on a USB drive or Linux on a USB drive, B drive or anything like that, you're not gonna be able to do that unless you select allow booting from an external media. That's pretty cool. You can also enable a firmware password. All right, I'm gonna close that and I'm just gonna verify to make sure that it's been saved and it looks like it's been saved. So now when I reboot, it's still gonna check my operating system that it's been correctly signed, but it's no longer gonna require me to access the internet to do a second check by Apple. Now it's always useful to do a second check by Apple just in case the version of the operating system has been compromised and Apple know about it, but it is one extra layer of um, negativity and blockage from allowing you to use your computer.